Good morning, Madam Chairman, members of the committee. Thank you for the opportunity to give uh, me the opportunity to speak today. My name is Paul Letts. I'm from Derry, New Hampshire. And um, I am a 30 year retired law enforcement officer. I retired from the rank of lieutenant. I was a field commander. I was in charge of the, uh, the Regional Special Operations Unit, but currently you are commonly being called the SWAT unit. We responded to situations that by the very nature were predisposed to uh, having people involved who were violent and used deadly force. One of the things we acknowledged was that fear, although it's not something that's not enjoyable, it's something that we utilize to keep us alive. We hear, and I've heard, several members of the general court talk about how that they endorse capital punishment because of the fact that they felt it made law enforcement safer. I can tell you that if you took this example, if you took a group of people, law enforcement officers, on the brink of being able to, on the brink of taking action, whether it be going into a drug house, whether it be uh, an active shooter, and you would freeze frame and stop action like you could with a movie and ask any of those law enforcement officers, do you feel safer going through the next step because there's a death penalty? I think that you know the answer. They look at you like you had three heads. Do you think anyone is less predisposed to use deadly force against you because it's a death penalty? Obviously, it's something that none of them would look at with any type of credulity. There aren't many situations you hear about how that there were actually anecdotal situations involving the death penalty and, and deference. There aren't many situations that we can take away where we actually have an account of someone that actually thought about the death penalty before they committed a crime. I'll submit to you, you probably know this story. It was made into a book with a turned into a bestseller. Um, in 1963, two Los Angeles police officers were kidnapped. They were brought to Bakersfield, California in the middle of the night. One of the criminals indicated that he thought there was a death penalty in California for the abduction and kidnapping of a police officer. As a result, he shot and killed Officer Ian Campbell. He executed him. The death penalty was not in force in any form at that time. However, it cost Officer Campbell his life. Officer Hettinger, who was Campbell's partner, fled the scene and survived. I wonder if Officer Hettinger at the time, when he watched his partner be executed, thought that there was any safety involved in that. I would just submit to you that if you feel that voting against this bill makes you feel more comfortable, if it makes you feel good, that would be the only good thing that comes out of this. The, right, the proper thing to do in this is for the purposes of the dignity of the state, and because it really has negligible effect, it has no effect upon the conduct of criminals, especially with respect to law enforcement. I'd urge you to vote in favor of this bill. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming, and thank you for your testimony. Any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you.